Hey guys, this is Mike from BTech Reviews here, and today we take a look at and unbox the Google Pixel 5a. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to unbox and take a look at the Google Pixel 5a. So I'm super excited about this because this is my first Pixel unboxing being a part of Team Pixel. So first of all, I got to give a big shout out to uh, Google for sending this out again being a part of the t uh, the team pixel family uh, I've been wanting to be a part of for years now already and going back to having uh, a lot of their original Nexus devices I just am super excited to work with this brand new device and it's not even out yet which is great because I get to test it out talk about it before the initial release and uh, you know again go over that with my followers so again if you guys are following me don't forget to smash the like button so I can get some more views and you know hopefully get that YouTube algorithm rhythm going here but anywho let's go ahead and get the pixel 5a 5g unboxing going here so again very minimalistic box you know again i can compare it to other uh, boxes like the pixel 4a and 3a you know pixel or google in general you know they're very subtle with their packaging right it's just, they just get right to the point so let's go ahead and get this unboxing going and let's see if we can read up some specs here because i'm kind of blind here but right out of the box you can see that it has a 6.3 inch screen 128 gigs of internal storage yeah, uh, this is the mostly black version. I don't know if this actually has a different color, uh, but you never know. I guess we'll have to see once the actual release comes out if other colors come out. So let's go ahead and do this. And again, I love the I love their unboxing little uh, dynamics here, just because uh, I got to do this with the 4A, and it was just it was a uh, fun to do. So here we go. I'm finally unboxing the 5a here and again i got this earlier today uh it was a long day at work so i decided to uh check that out uh, to rest a little bit so i can you know have a little bit of voice uh to work on this video so right off the bat i can tell you that it's got a little bit of more weight compared to the pixel 4a so let's go ahead and peel off the screen here 6.3 6 inch screen so I really uh, thought that you know the, the the size of the screen for the pixel 4a was a, a good sweet spot and I'm gonna just put it next to it just so you guys can compare this is my pixel 4a and this one's a 5.8 inch screen uh, this one is a 6.34 inch screen it's an OLED panel and it does have uh, 1080p uh, it's a 1080p screen but it's also a 60 Hertz refresh rate so if you're looking for a device with a higher refresh rate you're not gonna get it right uh, but again Google factors a, a lot of different things when uh, you know making these devices and one of those things was not having the 1080 uh, having a higher refresh screen so I'm actually gonna get this set up here again the, the, the devices look pretty much identical. Again, this is the 4A, uh, and this goes back to the original Pixel 4 where you know you have that you know you have that cutout uh, on there. But this one, of course, does have an ultra wide camera uh, on the back here, and that's going to be something that I'm going to test out a lot, just because again they uh, we t they talk they talk about it, and it's, it sounds like it's going to be very good, especially with night sight mode, especially on the camera as well. That's something I want to test out. And basically, you can basically take portrait shots in the dark with this new camera. So looking forward to checking that out. Again, this is an OLED panel, so it looks very nice and crisp. And I do, I, I do uh, recall, excuse me, uh, that uh, and again, I was a part of the Google Team Pixel meeting, so big, uh, proud to be a part of that. But this phone has 800 nits uh, of brightness on the screen, so you'll actually be able to look at this uh, phone like when you're outside in the you know bright daylight, and you're going to be able to actually have no issues looking at the actual screen. So again, I'm going to go ahead and get this phone set up, and I probably will pop in the visible SIM just so I can test out the 5G speeds. Again, visible is under Verizon's network, uh, so I do want to check that out as well. See how see how good that looks. And you know what? Before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look at what's in the box you know of course aside from the the sim card tray right you know i do have a looks like a fast charging brick by the way most likely an 18 watt and it looks like a just a, you know regular basic usb uh, cable it's usb to US, usb c to usb c so this this charging brick most likely is a usb uh, connection in the back also and i believe it does look like it comes with maybe a, a an adapter of some sort a usb type a adapter so nothing really too crazy in the box you know of course let's go ahead and take a look here probably just you know the instructions which you know no one really ever looks at so i'm going to kind of just leave that in there um, and go from there but yeah let's go ahead and get this device uh, set up guys and again super excited to test this phone 
coming out uh, right right from the get go. Uh, I can tell you right now it does have an aluminum body. So compared to you know last year's 4A device, this one's more of a a plasticky feel, right? Which is still a great device, right? Uh, this one is an aluminum body, so you can actually like you know, feel the quality in it. So again, let me go ahead and get this set up, and then we'll uh, take a look at what this has to offer. All right, so the device is set up, and I was actually able to copy uh, most of my items from the Pixel 4a over here. All you just needed was a, a USB to USB connection here, so that was actually relatively quicker than I thought it would be. So right out of the gate, again, I do have this connected to Wi-Fi. I will I will connect the SIM card uh, soon. That'll be a separate video, right? Uh, but again, you know, for the most part, this is running Android 11 out of the box. So let's go ahead and take a look at that really quick. And just to kind of verify with you guys. So I really like the Android 11, uh, you know, skin layout, whatever you want to call it. Uh, right now I am testing uh, Google's uh, Android 12 beta on the Pixel 4a so I will post similarity videos just so you guys can kind of see and I will look at that with the Pixel 3a also because I just uh, got the Pixel 3a a couple weeks back as well um, but for the most part you know I, I do I am a fan of what, the way this looks how, how it has colors and everything the Pixel or the Android 12 version is a lot bigger and just stockier looking I'm just not a fan of it uh, I will change the um, display settings here really quick also just because I am blind uh, but for the most part again it's running Android 11 uh, and again this is probably going to be a very stable version for this release so when this phone is released it will come out with this uh, Android 11 you know a lot of people are thinking well with these new devices they're going to get the latest version of Android right uh, which in this case Android 12 is not just ready yet and you will see that with the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro uh, so and again, I'm excited because I'm already using Android 12, but at the same time, there's a lot of little nitpicking that I that I have about that. But again, guys, you know, for the most part, you know, right out of the gate, I can tell you this phone feels very snappy. You know, this is running a Snapdragon 765 processor, and that is going to be in your. It's the same processor that you have basically in the Pixel 5, uh, or excuse me, yeah, the Pixel 5. And I I've actually uh, am familiar with the processor as well because I've had I, I have. Uh, the T-Mobile Revel 5G, which is also using the Snapdragon 750, 765G. Uh, but again, you know, you know, a lot of the people kind of complain like, well, these are, you know, mid-range processors, etc. like that. You know, no, not really. You know, the way Google optimizes these, you know, you really can get a lot of uh, out of these devices. And you really wouldn't know that these are not like the Snap, Snapdragon 800 series processors just by using them. You know what I mean? Uh, so it's pretty cool. So right now, again, you can see here that it is updating uh, and it's you know I transferring stuff etc like that completing setup yeah for the most part though I can tell you right now that I do like the screen I might change the background just because I'm not a fan of that stock that stock wallpaper you know what I mean uh, and I, I I set it up to where I have no photos in this specific device so look at that TikTok cityscapes let's look at cityscapes just because you know I'm a big fan of cities I was in Houston recently and I, I'll just leave that for now. I will change this probably to like a Naruto piece probably <laughs> just because I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like that. I'll go ahead and set up lock screen and um, like this. Uh, that might be a little too much. I might change it back just for the heck of it. We'll see. We'll see. But anyways, um, just going back here, I think that's a little much. The, the brightness on that kind of hurts my eyes a little bit. There we go. That, lo that looks pretty okay. I'll just leave it. No, I don't want to download it. Okay, never mind. Sorry. I guess it's. Let's just exit there. I guess this is this is a uh, live universe wallpapers, and I don't want to go with that. So let's just go with Earth. I guess we'll just go with this for now. And again, I will use this as my home and lock screen. So we'll go ahead and swipe up. So again, guys, very nice looking screen. Again, like you know, again they say it has 800 nits. So I'm gonna put that all the way to the top in brightness, and I can, you know, I can tell right away that this is a very bright phone. A lot of people uh, might not like the fact though that you know this is a 60 hertz refresh rate phone. You know, you can't go higher than that. Uh, look at that dark theme's already on. I love this just because it already knows what I like, guys. Let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and change the the default. Um, display size just because I'm again I'm a little blind and that's because I have glasses so so for those of you who don't know how to change the, the font size or display size that's how you do it I already have the font size set to large so super excited to have this phone 
again, it's already kind of set up the way I have my Pixel 4a set up. You know what I mean? Uh, one thing that I, I you know, I want to share with this is uh, with you guys is that this phone, uh, again, aside from the the screen size, it is IP67 water resistant certified. So it is water and dust resistant. So you can get this phone wet. You can probably, you know, jump in the water at the beach with it. But again, just be aware that you know these are only resistant to a specific point. So that doesn't mean I can go swimming with this, right? Obviously, this thing has 5G. Uh, it does have that 16 uh, megapixel ultra wide camera. So I'll open the camera app just so you can guys can see there. Uh, again, um, let's see. Let's go ahead and get this open. Super fast, by the way. Uh, oh, yes. The body wise. Body. Let's go over the body really quick. So right here, normally you guys know that Pixel will come out with like a colored power button. And I actually have excuse me let me uh let me grab my other device here so this is the pixel 4a this is the the google Pic, uh pixel 5a right on the left P pixel 4a on the right I, I really like the the brighter color on this one this one to me seems kind of plain and not to narc on google at all about that that's fine you know what i mean most likely i'm going to put a case on this phone right uh but very again very distinct design elements that go go back to the actual pixel 4 uh, with that you know square body cut out for the camera it's got double double camera it's a it's a, not a thin device guys uh, again that goes back to having a 4600 milliamp battery uh, or a 4000 plus milliamp battery this is uh, pixels biggest battery in an a series phone so i think that's pretty awesome that they're doing that uh, and again they want you to have longevity when it comes to battery life uh, you know i'm not a huge fan of how thick the phone is I'll, I'll just tell you guys that much right now you know again i like the i like phones that are a little bit thinner uh, you do see here a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack so that's something that you might not see with other devices uh you know and again i just just so you guys can see there the pixel 4a has a a millimeter uh, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack also and you know here is the notification system there so let's go ahead and look at this ultra wide camera really quick you know again and this phone does have night sight and it does have a night sight portrait mode as well so i'll have to be going in depth with that a little bit later on but for the most part let's go to modes panorama lens you have your video mode which i believe this does take uh, 4k at 60 frames a second let's just go ahead and confirm that really quick so again i can do 4k whoa hello okay you have a little bit of a crop there and i can change the frame rate to 60 frames a second so and uh, uh they just announced that they this will actually have a pan mode which i will have to look into be, uh because that will uh obviously help out people that want to you know use this as a a device to you know make films or you know make cinematic pans when it comes to working on b-roll for your youtube channel etc like that uh so i'm excited about that uh, you know, I'm not seeing the feature here just specifically yet. That might just be a feature that is already integrated in there, right? But again, you know, can't wait to, again, take pictures of things right here. Let's take a picture of the, this will be the first picture I take of, of the, this is my GoPro Hero 8, by the way, guys. And again, I have this on auto mode. It's not anything fancy right here. And the cool part about this right now is that you can see right away that, you know, it tells you that if you're at an angle at, at a specific degree and you can actually level it out, you know what I mean? So right now I'm at zero degree angle. I'm going to go ahead and take the picture and we'll go ahead and bring that picture up. So it's looking pretty solid to me. Again, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Again, I'm going to probably have to post that on my Instagram a little bit later. Uh, but you guys can see there, it's already looking pretty snazzy, right? And again, th this is you know just on auto mode regularly so i'm super impressed already again pixel you know does it have that here let's take a look at that uh, ultra wide now there we go so you have your 0.6 you have your 1x and then you have your 2x right and of course I, i'm pretty positive i can i can zoom in a little further uh but for the most part you know that ultra wide especially when you guys are trying to get like cityscapes is going to look very good so i'm going to have to try to find like a downtown area or area with buildings uh, again, night sight, you know, I can change, uh, you know, it looks like the ISO right here. Again, of course, if you pump it up super high, it's going to look super grainy like that. So, so you want to kind of have it to where it's not like that. A lot of the time it's auto. So this usually the, you know, the, the camera can detect, detect it and it'll, it'll, you know, auto, auto it on its own. You know what I mean? But the, the fact that this thing already knows that I'm in a dark environment because my room's kind of dark and it's already setting it to where it knows I'm going to be in the dark. 
So going going back from that, guys, again, super excited uh, to test this device out and work with it. And again, uh, thank you, Google, again, for you know sending this device out to me. Let's go ahead and get a facial shot over here, even though I know, I know I'm not going to look that good here, but I'm going to have to crop out that nasty background over here. Or you know what? Let me, tur let me turn around. And, there we go. Let me just get the door there. All right. But anywho, guys. Mike from BTech Reviews here signing off again. Don't forget to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and as always uh, to you know stay up to date with my content. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram. You know I'm always making posts on Twitter or Instagram when it comes to the photos with the devices that I have. And again, thank you guys for following me, Team Pixel. Shoutouts to you guys and thank you again for watching.